friend of mine made the mistake of making an offhand comment about Flash's, uh, one of Flash's new features. Now, let me, let me tell you, I made some very rough statements about Flash. I said, I'm not a Flash guy, and how that was actually a, a relevant point. The reason I'm not a Flash guy is it's behaved so differently than all the other software I use, and I feel pretty masterful with. The Flash has always been this like wall to me. Like it doesn't draw the same way, it doesn't do things in a way I find intuitive. And so this friend made this offhand comment to me a week ago yesterday. And that day I decided, ooh, I want to do that. And I was able to actually make a pretty okay animation in Flash. And I don't use Flash. This is the big new thing for me. It's actually intuitive and usable. To me, that's notable. And so I actually was able to set this up so it opens up as an 800 by 600, I believe, stage and black. I figured that out. And I'm going to paste that thing I just copied from Illustrator. Um, yeah, sure. Now, a whole bunch of rules exist in Flash about when you're going to do things like animations. And I, I have to confess, I do know a little bit about animation a little bit, and I know a little bit about 3D, and I know a little bit about these other things that come in handy. That, that helps. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be dumb, though, and I, I'm going to pretend I have no idea that Flash demands that everything be a symbol, whatever that is. So I'm going to right-click in this and say, I want to make a motion tween. You familiar tween, the phrase? It's a, it's a great verb to tween, and it's a noun, too. Uh, it comes from uh, the phrase in-betweening, or the word in-betweening, back from old animation days making the steps in between this and that, and generating all the rest. I want to make one of those. Oh, you can't make that a tween. Do you want to convert it to a thing that can be a tween? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And it generated here in the timeline a series of frames. It started off way over here on the left at time zero or time one, and progressed to some point in the future. This is not a very long animation, not even a second. Um, I think I need to go longer than that. So let me uh, zip ahead here. Uh, how far do I want to go? Um, how far do I want to go? I think about... That's far enough. I'll stop there. And I have to define a couple of things. Actually, I need to be back at the beginning for a moment. So back here. Oops. Hope I didn't break it. Did I break it? Anyone here know how to use Flash? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right. So I got this thing. And what are you all familiar with what this comes from? So my friend said, now with 3D transformations in Flash, everyone's going to make Star Wars text. And I was like, oh, I want to make Star Wars text. <laughs> and so um, here's how what I did. Let me show you a couple of things. Uh, first of all, let's make sure this is all where I think it should be. And so I'm going to start using some of these uh, 3D tools. There's a 3D rotation tool here. And I don't know if you can see right there what just appeared. This 3D matrixy thingy and one color for each axis. So if I grab this green piece here and I start turning it, I can turn it that way. I don't want that. I can grab this blue one here. What's that? Am I being angle uh, reverse? That's kind of neat. That way? No. But you know which way I want to go. I want to go that way. Oh. In fact, I'm going to go 90 degrees. Oh, 90 degrees is too much. But does anyone know about um, 3D and 3D drawing and something called a vanishing point? Where things recede into the distance? Yeah, let's uh, just move that up there. Yeah, that's a little better. So that's a good angle. And where do I want this to be? Well, I can use the 3D translation tool to move this a bit, I guess, one way or another. That's kind of neat. I can also use my Z position here to move that back, like so. And I've had trouble. Um, there it is. And then I can move my... Uh, Oh, uh, hello. Play it up here. And good, I can select it. And then move this up a bit. Don't ask me what that green thing is shooting up in the sky there. I don't know what that is. 
force. <laughs> it's the force. <laughs> Actually, somewhere back here is I think where it should start fading away to nothing. What do you think? So I think um, put a little point in time there. Oh, I can't get the color, so I better do something with color here. Alpha is a word for transparency. So I think uh, right about there I will stick in a oops, keyframe for color stuff. And then back at the end again, I'll make sure that that alpha goes to nothing. Sweet. You think this is going to work? God, I hope so. <laughs> like the third time I've ever done this, you know. <laughs> but it's pretty neat. Oh, what would this be like without any music, right? So let me uh, go get some. Actually, I know a better way to do that, don't we? Uh, there we go. Bring that in here. This is my library. Library, there's my music. Create a new layer. I don't know if I need to do that, but I, I think I want to. There we go. Well, fingers crossed. clap for yourself, but I just like that it worked. But seriously, I, I had such a heck of a time trying to get into Flash until this version. And it's like, oh, okay. And I had a little experience again with a thing called Live Motion a few years back. And it was a bit more intuitive, and they brought some of that intuitiveness into here, which I think is a lovely, lovely thing.